Hi there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. So, uh, a bit more training has gone on. In fact, I actually went and beat um, the Platinum Cup of the Offline Coliseum. You're not missing much. And got all the way up to the final round of the Legendary Cup, which is the last one. Uh, and I just gotta say, this dude here, Platinum Numemon, he looks just like any sort of ordinary little, you know, experience boosting gremlin who's not that good okay texture blow totally broken um this causes dot status which you put on like there's a few that were immune to it there and they were actually really really good like i'm pretty sure um mirage galgamon is immune to it no he just has higher evasion but it was um i was just dotting enemies and it literally made them because all they can do is attack, and since they're computers, they don't have items. It was brutally destructive, and I got up to the final round where they were, like, one-shotting me, and it was terrible. But Platinum Numemon, you, sir, are actually super good. Like, he's not powerful, but that texture blow can turn any enemy into literal nothing. But the most important thing today is, well, Marcus here is, like, two attack points away from being able to go to burst mode. Rosemon, as well as Mirage Galgamon, are able to, and Ravemon needs, like, eight more speed. But, we're finally getting some burst modes, so let's hop in and see what these super-powered, even further than Mega Evolutions are. And we got the top-notch breeder, which is nice. I wanted to do them all at the same time, but it's okay. Here's Burst Mode Rosemon, who's just a recolor with dots around her. You might say, dang, that looks like it sucks, but you know what? No, it's, it's actually, like, stat-wise so much better. Her new attack is a guichon lèvre, which is French for something leaves. I don't know what a guichon means. Um, it's an intelligence-penetrating light attack on one foe that absorbs 50% of the, oh my god, 50% uh, of the damage's HP, and she restores 5 each 5% max HP every turn and increases... H wow. Wow, wow, wow. She seems really good. What about Mirage Galgamon? How he's, how's he gonna look? If I remember, his form is actually so much cooler because he gets, like, a weapon. I don't, I don't remember seeing it. So let's see what it looks like. Oh my god, that is so much better. Guys, holy crap. That is such, yeah. No, that's an upgrade. That looks so good. Full Moon Meteor Impact. 120 light damage to one foe, 30% chance of stunning, and tends to critical. Mirage Burst, so instead of having higher um, evasion, now he gets increased physical damage received by 25%, but increases intelligence by 20. So, uh, you know what? I'll take it, whatever. That's kind of a, a two-edged mirror. Why does he still have anti-stun? I was sure I got rid of that. Let's, let's switch that out. Why do you have anti-stun? That's super useless. But he also got... Speed Charge Field, which is going to be super nice. Um, so let's see here. I think they all got some kind of, like, Charge Fields, right? No, you got Chain Max. You got Speed Charge Field as well. So I might as well put those on, because those are just better versions of that. You got Guard Break Field, which is amazing. The Field ones are actually always worth it. Guard Charge Field Increase... Yeah, so those ones, those ones I will use. Mental Charge Field, yeah, we're gonna put that on for sure. We don't need Aura and Final Aura. Um, X Heal. You know, Final Aura is just better. And you got a whole bunch of, you know, for your other things, like, you don't need Antidote and Revive. Let's go Guard Break Field, Mental Break Field, so you're gonna be a nice... Wow, you can break all of them. Wow, that's actually really sweet. So this is our team for now, I guess. Um, I want to see what their moves are going to be. So we're going to bring them out to the front to give them a shot. But as I say, um, Ravemon and... Um, oh, it's going to look terrible because of this. You know what? No, I'm going to I'm gonna keep Platinum Numemon just there so we can have a, the, the boosted experience. But uh, yeah, no, this is awesome. Okay, cool. Let's head to do some quests. So... See, as you can see here, I, um, did, did the quests here. I forgot there's Tekken posters and freaked out for a second. Um, so I got up to the, the final cup, and I think I got a trophy for it, if I recall. 
Let's see here. Trophies, Cyber Sleuth. Can I go... Can't I order them? Sort by earn date. So yeah. Um, let's see here. Where were the ones that I got? Come on, PlayStation Network. You got this. Um, yeah, so I got the Seasoned Gamer Trophy for beating it. And I got Top Notch Breeder there. So, cool. Let's head down and do some quests. Now, uh, this isn't going to probably be a super long part because I do have work today. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get some done, you know? We'll, we'll start with, like, the easiest one. Poor cold Digimon. I saw a Metal Greymon walking outside. It looked so cold and sad. Will you take it a blanket? That's actually, like, really cute. So, where was this? Uh, ah, Detective, please have a favor to ask you. So, when I was out to Shinjuku with my mother the other day, we saw a mysterious navy blue creature. When, he asked, when I asked my friend, she said, that's Metal Greymon. But anyway, his face looked really sad and looked cold like he was going to freeze to death. So I want to give him a warm quilt as a present. Will you come with me over to that store over there? We're... okay. Hey, please come inside and see our quilts. Today there's a sale on a special lower price just for today. Oh wow, look at that. The blankets look really fluffy and warm. Oh uh, well, miss. You certainly have a good eye. The blanket is made of high quality materials. Just ask your babysitter if you can get it. Oh please, detective. Please buy that one. I'm sure the creature will like it. Uh, there was originally tw uh, what if you don't have the money for this? Um, do you think the girl can pay that? Whatever, let's get it, yeah. Okay, it's a deal then. Take it before I change my mind. Wow, you can just change your mind. That's not right. Watch it actually be a virus blanket and then he attacks us or something. Mom says I'm not allowed to go too far away, so I'd like you to take this to the creature, please. Please, detective. Okay. Off to Shinjuku it is, because obviously we can't let her go there. So if it's navy blue, then this is like the the virus version of him. Which is fine, which is cool. Hello. What's this? Welcome. I didn't mean to do that. What's this? Uh, the bullet point was packed with people's grievances. I hear strange groans at night. I saw a monster's shadow in the town of Broadway. Bizarre things are happening more and more. What's gonna happen to us? Oh. Okay. Was that not a quest line thing? Oh, there's another case. What's with the building about? Hmm, people are taking this turn for the weirder. Sounds like the residents have a lot of pent-up frustration that they're letting out now. We definitely are lacking in people who've got it out for us. Once you're a bad apple in their eyes, you're always one, even if you're innocent. Let's see, okay, so we gotta clear our name. That's gonna actually be kind of an important quest, I guess. So, let's head to Shinjuku and finish this quest, at least. Where are you at? Oh my god, look at my team. Actually, it was funny, because I had a team full of Megas, and when they were attacking, it was actually causing the game to lag a bit. Um, so, like, having, like, six Megas on the screen, the game was having troubles. It was actually kind of amazing. So, let's go, uh, Stealth Hide. Yeah, there we go. Are they, like, semi-transparent? Or is it just me? Oh, maybe it's because it's Mirage Kaugamon, so he's, like, actually meant to be that way. That would make sense, you know, because he's moving so fast. Okay, so she said Shinjuku, right? It's like, where is he? Did I just go the wrong way? No, there he is. Hey, brother, what's up? Uh, apparently, you're a housewife now. Okay, go away. Go away, I don't want that. <clears throat> Damn, her. What is it? If you don't want anything, just go away. I'll bite you. Turned in the worm blanket. Huh? It's a little human girl got this for me? I look cold, so she asked you to bring me this? Wow. Oh, it's so warm. But to be honest, I wasn't actually cold. After I came to this world, I was so afraid some heartless human would attack me, so I quickly changed my body. But because I rushed to changes, my body hasn't caught up yet, so I'm walking around in pain like this. I suppose I must have looked cold. This blanket is super warm. This, that voice went from Metal Greymon to like Strong Bad to just like terrible Mexican stereotype. Amazing. Humans are actually very nice. So you're gonna give this to that little girl, please? We got the old music box. Wow. And please tell her I said thanks for the blanket. You, oh wow, that we didn't fight. That was amazing. Also, look at Platinum Numemon's stupid run. Look at him go. What a, what a happy individual. I can't imagine my eyes freaking out like that, though. That would just... It's... It, I, I don't know, man. Every time... 
anything regarding like eyes is in stuff, I have a hard time. Like you know those switches in Zelda where like you have to hit the eye with the, with an arrow or something. Like I don't like that. I don't like anything regarding eyes in that way. You know. I'm sure I'm not the only one. When it, oh man, when it comes to when it comes to JoJo, I can handle most of the um, the 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 stuff in JoJo like the crazy violence. But when it comes to the eye stuff, I can't do it, man. Music box. The odd-shaped music box plays a sweet tune from the palm of the little girl's hand. I don't know what to say, but for some reason I feel all warm and tingly. Even though it's a little cold today, that's weird. Detective, thank you for taking my case. You see, I'm moving to Hokkaido tomorrow. I was feeling a little sad about having to leave all my friends, but hearing this made me feel all better. We did it. That was an easy, quick quest with no fighting, which is actually a nice change of pace, I feel. You know, it's not like it's not like the other ones where it's like, you know, no no fighting and you get to the end and it's like no you're you're actually fighting. Feel the memory expansion plug in, all that stuff. Ever get hit with a sun wave of nostalgia when you listen to a music box? Hey, <laughs> me too. Don't mind me, I'm just thinking out loud. Wasn't a music box like an item in the old Digimon stuff? Okay, so this is obviously Nikano's legendary busters. Okay, that's that that looks like the next story mandatory quest, so uh let's go level Let's see here. Um, level 2. Not enough food. Growlmon. My master is really sad and doesn't want to eat. I want to get some good food, but I can't do anything to help. Sure. Let's go find Growlmon. Obviously not the same Growlmon as before, but a different one. So he's on floor 3 of Nakano. So we can head there. And we need to find him right there. Connect jump into the box. Now, okay, now this is starting to give me, like, vibes of, uh, Mega Man Battle Network with, like, okay, so we need to go to the food area. What's gonna be in the food area? You know, some sort of, uh, food-based stuff, you know? So, oh, uh, good thing when we came for the item, though. Brave Point E2? Yo! How much is that, experience-wise? An extra- okay, well, that's fine. Let's give it to Marcus. Okay, cool. Um, oh, he just needs one more level. He just needs that one more, one more attack stat, then we can burst mode him. Which is gonna be sweet, and I cannot wait. Okay, so... Let's head to see Growlmon, who obviously will not fight us. Obviously, what are you talking about? There's no way he'll just come out and fight us, because that would be weird for a quest. He's probably going to be, get me this food, and then he'll be like, okay, we'll get him the food. Then he'll be like, now nah, I'm going to eat you, Rawr, and then you, you fight him, and yeah. Also, wow, whatever happened to the encounter rate? Is this just like a non-hostile area? I mean, I'll take it, but I want to try out these cool new dudes. Ah, you're here taking this case, right? Thank you for taking this on. The truth is, recently, my master hasn't been feeling well. My appetite is gone, and she hasn't been eating her meals. If she keeps eating like this, I'm sure she will faint. So I'm thinking of making her some of her favorite ramen. Fun fact. Uh, friggin', um, his pre-evolution form, Gimon, is voiced by, I think, isn't it Steve Bloom? Like, the guy who does, like, Wolverine now? Like, like, and Amon from Korra? Yeah, that's Steve Bloom. That was his weirdest role. So, I, as I need more bones to make the broth, I'd like you to get one from Ogreman. I'm sure Ogreman is somewhere around here, so please go find him. Okay. Like, w when he says somewhere around here, does he mean, like, in the area? Or in... Oh, well, we gotta fight. Oh my god, you guys are gonna get so destroyed, you have no idea. Okay, so, uh, I'm just gonna guard with you. Oh my god, it heals everyone. Okay, let's try Full Moon Meteor Impact. That's pretty anime. That's pretty anime indeed. Try this. That's, that's pretty cool too, I'll take it. Okay, and I wanna get, I wanna see their, their new wind poses if they get one, so... We just wind claw. Let's see this. Oh, you're, you're just destroyed. That's pretty good. That's gonna make a good thumbnail. 
Also, they're all the way up to level 7 now, which is like crazy. That's the power of Platinum Numemon. Even fighting these useless, like, dudes who are terrible, we can still get, um, like a bunch of experience. Platinum Numemon, you're the best. Okay, so he's right there. We're probably gonna have to beat him up, which I'll be fine with. Mm, what do you want with me? Uh, we would like your bones, sir. You've been sent by Growlmon to borrow a bone from me? Hmm, I got a bone for you right here! And it was his penis, and this became one of those games. Might be a problem. You see, the bone is a trophy I took from Skull Greymon when I beat him. I can't let it go so easily, I'm afraid. But, well, Growlmon is a friend of mine. When you put it that way, I suppose I'm okay with it if you play with me first. It's the same voice as Metal Greymon. If you beat me, I'll lend you the bone. You ready? Yeah, sure, let's do this. Also, you are gonna get completely destroyed, sir. Pummel whack. Oh no, he has pummeled and or whacked me. It's such an anime attack, like I love it. Oh wow, okay, no. You're actually gonna be hard. Okay, well. I got just the team then. Excel boost. Yeah, but you can't really excel past uh, Ravemon because he is literally a ninja ninjaman. Wow, no, this dude's actually gonna be a bit tough to fight. I mean, not really. You'll see in a sec, I will turn him to be literally nothing, but he's gotta wait. Awesome Quake 3. Yeah, no, he's dealing some decent damage. Too bad he is gonna be completely destroyed in a second. That's it. At this point, there is nothing he can do. Like, honestly, I can just hit auto battle and we'll win. Like, because it's, at this point, there's nothing he can do that will hurt. And my team will auto heal. And it's broken. And dot status is the greatest, and I love it. Now, it doesn't work on all. Uh, I noticed, it's interesting, because of course they become like their sprites from the original, um, like, you know, dot, you know, the, 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 the Tamagotchi games, right? So the ones that don't have dot versions, or have never had them, I don't think can, can become them. Now there's a few exceptions, like, I don't think a lot of the main ones can, but like, for instance, I was fighting like, some newer, sort of like, mega level Digimon, um, and they, they don't have dot forms, like, they, I don't know if they're immune to it or something, but they just would not do it. Wow, all the way up to level 13. That's crazy. I'll take it. Oh, I sure worked up a hell of a sweat. A promise is a promise, I guess. Here, take it. We got his bone. Maybe you should tell Growlmon. Make sure you tell Growlmon to bring it back once he's finished. Okay. Huh? It's for cooking with. What? Are, are you guys insane? Oh, we didn't tell him that. That's funny. I, I've, I've never been one to like, I don't know, like I like cooking and stuff, but I don't know. I've never had a, a, a broth for a soup or whatever actually made with a bone. Um, I'd like to try it, because man, I like ribs and stuff, but I don't know. That's something I'd like to try one day. You know what I, I re I'm sorry, what the heck just happened? Did, did, you, did you guys see that or was that just me? Like... Uh, did I just have a stroke or something? Guys, was I- I wasn't the only one who saw that, right? Like, the screen went black, and then- Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, sure. Maybe- I think it's my party got stuck behind me or something. That was a bit strange. That was, hmm. What I was saying was, what I'd love to try is like, the Japanese style meat, if you will. Like, you know in anime and stuff, you just see, like, the big hunk of meat on a bone? I wanna- I wanna eat that, you know? Like, what they have in Monster Hunter. Ah, that's perfect, thank you! With this, I should be able to finish the ramen. Just wait a sec. He's cooking. This Growlmon is cooking. Done! I've made the ramen! I'd like you to take this to my master in Eden! Got Growlmon's noodles. You want me to bring this to her in person? I couldn't. It's too embarrassing. 
It's the first time I've ever given my master a gift, you see. My master should be at the entrance to Eden, so if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Well, let's just escape out of here, because it's like, this area is a bit of a pain to get out. Let's use, uh, export, yes. So let's head to Eden. Give her the nudes. Noodles, sorry, no, not nudes. It, I, I like saying nudes for noodles because it's funny, but in a case of giving it to a young girl, I'd rather that that would be a mistake to say. Also from doing the um the cup, I got a whole bunch more medals, so I'll be turning them in for a lot of mega level ones, so that that'll be good. So let's head to Eden then. Give her the noodles, which doesn't sound much better than give her the nudes, but it's still better Regardless. So, Eden entrance. Here she is. Okay, so she's not a young girl, at least. Please, take this, take these noodles. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? I'm in a bad mood. Leave me alone. Turn in Graumon's noodles. What's this? Ramen? But you're a complete stranger. How do you know that's my favorite food? Because you're Japanese. Duh. <laughs> Wait, where did you get that? I'm on a diet right now. I'm not eating meals. Gralmon is worried about you and he put everything he had into making this. He also said you should stop obsessing about your weight. Okay, this is still the funniest thing. The, f like, how they just turned it into three options even though it's just us saying one thing. Huh? Gralmon made this for me? No, but I can't. I'm not allowed to eat ramen or cake or anything when I'm on diet. But it smells so delicious. Maybe, maybe just a little bit. Mmm, delicious, it's so delicious. This is weird, I just can't seem to get enough. Then her, like, stomach explodes and her eyes dry up and... That was the first meal my master had eaten in three days. She hadn't eaten anything and her health was deteriorating. I was worried. But she's okay again! Dude, one bowl of ramen will not save a person who's starving. Now that I've given her this delicious ramen, she will surely start eating again! Thank you so much for your help! For your help! Thank you so much for your help! Your help! God, the translators on this game are really slacking off, aren't they? If it wasn't for you, my master wouldn't have recovered. Okay, sounds good. Actually, that reminds me, doing that dumb Digimon, like, Tamers, not Tamers, yeah, Tamers, um, Gimon voice. They're actually releasing Takato's, like, original set of, like, his Digimon cards from the first episode of the show in the box, and it looks so cool. You get his box from the show, and I'd love it if I, if, you know, it's, I, I can only do so much, you know. I don't have that much money. Pour us a cup of coffee. No, we're good. Um, let's see here. Let's do one more, I feel. Constant bragging. Boncho Leomon won't stop bragging. My friend warned me. Wh what? Sure, let's go to Akihabara to, to help Betamon with Boncho Leomon's bragging. Is this, is this the same Boncho Leomon who's like the guardian and everything? Or is this just going to be like just some other Boncho Leomon? Sure, let's head to Akihabara. We gotta find, uh, what's his face? He's gonna let us through, right? Yeah, okay. Where is he at? Betamon. Probably in here. So let's hope this one's just a please fight for me mission and then that's it. Cause that'd be, that'd be swell and fine. And in here we got Shekomons, who are super, super, super weak, and will die in pretty much a single hit. I don't, I don't even need to use Geo Gray Sword, but I'm gonna anyways. I've gotten to a point where I've just been using the auto battle for like every battle, and it's terrible. And I know I shouldn't, but honestly, I just feel like it's it's fine, man. I feel like out of everything, it's fine, you know. Play this like a classic Digimon game. Oh my God. It's- I've taken so long to find Kudamon and we finally found one. That's like one of the rookie ones that I've just never been able to find. 
And it's not like he leads to any rare lines or anything. He was just a Digimon that I could not find before. It's weird. I'm I'm happy I found one finally, but okay, sure, I'll take it. But as you can see, even though we're facing like super weak enemies, we're getting a good amount of experience just because of Platinum Numemon, which is great. So we need to get up there, which is down there. Okay, I see. Boncho Leomon is light, so we're gonna need some virus dudes on our team. Also, uh, Negatai is super, super, super strong. Uh, his, his, uh, Black Tornado can, was doing like 2,000 damage to enemies because it penetrates defense, right? So even though they high, had high defense, it was just like, it was super easy. Also, yeah, we're just gonna run to, to conserve our, our stats and stuff. Um, but no, it's like, he was just, it was so crazy, you know, you'd find this, this, this light type enemy and it would just rip through him. Ah, is that you? Thank you, thanks for coming. Today I was grabbed by Boncho Leomon. I heard from my friends that Boncho Leomon's stories are really long. I'm so tired. Look, you see this? I'm totally ripped. They should call me ba- That voice is gonna kill me. Badass. Okay, Badass Leomon is a great name though. For having such an amazing physique. Uh, yeah. Hey, who are you? Scratch that. Okay, I can't do that voice right now. I don't have a drink with me, so it's gonna kill me. Come over and listen to this anyway. Come on, don't be such a wuss. Let me tell you what Boncho means. The title of Boncho is only given to- Oh, this is actually what- Yo. It's actually kind of important to the lore of Digimon. It's only given to those who have experienced many battles, hardships, and strife, but still manage to stand on their own two feet. And that's what a Boncho is. The power comes from the effort you put in every day to be true to the justice you believe in. It's the first time Boncho Leomon has grabbed me has grabbed me too. By the looks of it, he's always like this. I hear you can go on bragging non-stop for three hours once it gets started. I feel sorry for my friends who have to put up with him. I'm getting really tired of this. Only five Digimon have earned the title of Boncho! Bonchos are basically the greatest of all Digimon! Among them, I have the greatest of all Bonchos! What's the matter, you scared? Now that you mention it, other than you, who else has the tile of Boncho? Yeah, they're not working well in this case. I, uh, well... There have been five, isn't that the number? So you Digivolve into Boncho Leomon, just call yourself Boncho, right? That's, uh... What the hell? This is stupid, I'm going home. Stop! So you think you make fun of me, huh? Think fun of me like that? I'll show you, show you how strong Bacho is. Ah, don't just add their help. Bacho Leomon. The other ones are like Golmon, Stingmon, um, Lilymon. Who else? Um, oh no, he's. I I did this wrong. We're supposed to do it the other way around. We're supposed to get the um. Yeah. Okay. So no, I, I screwed up. Um, Gulmon, Lilymon, forget who else. Okay, let's see. Can we texture blow him? That's the question. Nope. He doesn't seem able to. It's a nearly 100% chance of doing it. So it's like, you know. Ow. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, let's go, let's throw up a speed charge field. Let's actually start using buffs and stuff, you know, why not? Plus that, that heal each turn is going to be really nice. Mental charge field. This is going to, this is going to actually be pretty good. It's going to pay off in the end. Uh, guard break field, yeah. Defense down. Attack. Wow, okay, that was nothing. Okay, now, full moon meteor impact once again. What a, what, a, what a dumb but awesome attack. Wow, that actually didn't do that much. I am surprised. Use guard break field again. No, attack break field, I mean. We're gonna just break him down. He's using an excel boost, but that kind of cancels out with our with our stuff, so... Let's try the Aguichant Lèvre. Okay, that was good. That's powerful. He's just gonna attack. It's not gonna do much. Well, I mean, except it might. I'm actually gonna switch out Platinum Numemon for now, just so that we don't have a... You know, him dying on us. I want to get that boosted experience, so we'll bring in Davis instead. 
Using that Excel boost. God, he's so cool. Look at him there. Um, let's try poisoning him, actually. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, that's gonna stack up, because it, it, it works more and more each turn, so... Since he can't heal it, I'm pretty sure. Puzztron Laser. Deals just, you know, good damage. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not super worried. Like, I do like how, like, these enemies that, you know... Even though this listed is just, like, a random quest, it's, it's going to, you know deal good damage, and, you know, these guys are tough. They're not just regular enemies. God, that heal half HP is amazing. <laughs> look, look, you see, it's, it's stacking, right? So it's like, you know, I'm actually going to switch out Davis back for Plyam Numimon, because we're almost done with him. And once that's done, we'll, uh, we'll be able to get that boosted experience, which should be very nice, because since he's a mega, it'll be a lot. And we're actually going to use this turn to just use a, uh, use an HP capsule on Platinum Numemon. Because I have so many, so it's like, whatever. Healing items I'm not super worried about. Yeah, so like, I didn't do- Oh, there we go! <laughs> oh, what a good day! He's so funny. Like, look at that, that was, that was good. Level 18, 18, 59. Very good. Nice. Okay, as Beta- like Betamon said, I accept that you are stronger than me, but please don't tell anyone about this. So you're saying anyone can call themselves a Boncho if they become a Boncho Leomon? Ah, that's what Boncho means, to be a Digimon that all other Digimon respect. If you- oh no, he says Boncho Leomon. If you keep quiet, I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Well, do you know what you've decided to do? Could you please stop bragging? What? Everyone hates my long-winded stories. You mean I have to stop bragging? But I love it so much. I understand. I'm sorry I bothered you with my company. Great! You know, it's nice to hear them once in a while, though. Your stories, I mean. Just maybe try to keep them a bit shorter. Thank you, Betamon. All's well that ends well. Also, we're like... Oh, I was gonna say we're right by the exit. We're, we're not. Okay, no, never mind. We have to go all the way around again. Ah, whatever. Let's, let's use the uh, home gate. Why not? Because now's a good time. Yeah, that's what we want. Because we're done. Alright, guys. Thank you all for watching, and uh, next time, well, you know what, we're gonna head here, we'll, we'll get this quest handed in, water sim, we'll get all that stuff, and before we go, I'm gonna go and we'll, we'll go look at our Digimon in the farm, see what's up, um, I've actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the farm over again right before I leave for work, and then as I'm at work, they'll be training, you know, so... 250 attack, we're so- we need just one level, one level, so it's like, can I just even load Digimon into him? Like, he's almost there. Like, I don't need Waymon. I don't need Edemon. Or Sting- Oh my god. Oh, it's- no, we're not- not worth it, not worth it. Oh, do I have any to Digi-Convert? I do- okay, so I have 40 Digi-Convert, I'll Digi-Convert them, and then just load them in. Cause I just- I, I want- I want to by the end of this part. Digivolve him if it's possible, but it might not even be possible at all. Load into Marcus. Okay, so those those four first off. Now, oh my God, are you serious? Oh my God, no, that sucks. Okay, we have. We, oh, we're so close. Let's see here. God, I don't ever want to use those ones, but I I, I want to keep them because they're like collector's items now. Oh, whatever. That's fine. Uh, anyone else to Digivolve? Let's see here. So, Tokemon, you're at... We need 130 intelligence. You're so close, man. You're, you're close. You're going to get there. You will, I swear. Um... Meteormon, I still need to beat this mission to get it, but then otherwise we're close. Though getting the speed's gonna actually be a bit tough. Um, Lotusmon, well I'm actually gonna D Digivolve you again. So we need to get you to 80 ABI to get uh, Lilithmon, who I really want. So, let's see here. As you can see, like, we can almost get Omnimon, which I'm excited for, but sadly we can't. Ooh, we can get Vikamon with him. But, uh, uh, 
Yeah, and then we'll make Zudo... Okay, so we'll, we'll turn you into Vicomon. Yeah, there you are. You're cool. Cool man. Uh, and then we'll turn then this Zudomon into the Marine Angemon instead. Um, oh, I didn't show off. I got Mega Gargamon. Who, of course, is the final evolution of um, my starter, Terriermon. Uh, and I had a toy of him as a kid, and I remember it was super cool. Because, like, you'd have to take his arms and, like, store them into, like, the, the silo, the bunny silos. And it was, it was actually, it was a transformer, and it was super awesome. Skull Marimon here, uh, you're the one we're working towards being a, um... I think we're gonna try to get you to be Boltmon, and then go back, because I want to get Bezelmon. So, we're working towards you with that. Jotaro here. Momentai needs just 120 attack, which she's not far from. So it's like, oh, oh, dude, Panyamon can digivolve into Saber Leomon, who's like the, the other final Leomon line, though a lot less cooler than the other ones, you know. So this War Growlmon here, um, I can't get Gallantmon right now, even though he's super awesome. I can't get him to, like, beat Great Quest 7 or Chaos Gallantmon, who's just the black recolor. Uh, but I want to try and get him to at least 80 ABI, which I could probably do pretty soon. And then I'm going to turn this one into the Hackmon. Because I, I actually did get Hackmon through backwards Digivolution already. But, um, I, of course he didn't have enough uh, experience and stuff, so that's fine. I want to try and get Okuamon. We need more defense, so that's okay. That's just for completing stuff. Um, and I want to get Antilamon to Digivolve to... It's final form, the villain of Digimon the movie, of course, like the other villain. So, uh, yeah, that's how it's going. Thank you all for watching, dudes, and next time we'll be back with some more Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. So, see you then as we finish up the last of the quests, uh, for now. See you then. Ciao.